Hello there. Let's go look on the very simple steps you can take it to make your art much easier sellable on different platforms. So if you work with, as example, we'll take a mid journey. And if you work with mid journey 4.0, you'll notice it's rendered only 1024 by 1024. So we'll obviously need to work something around there. But before we actually jump to this, one thing what I recommend you to do before you start selling your art, it's going to areas, for example, like Etsy and type just AI art. So you can look what competition what people try to sell this because you want to stand out of the crowd. You want to perform something, offer something to the people that does not exist. And that's what I usually I do. I go there and I check. Uh, sadly, most of the AI art it is or stolen, like somebody probably took this from competition and tried to sell or piece of crap. I'm sorry, but it is. And for me, it's disappointing because it's overflowing. It's decreasing value of the AI art and people try cash it very fast on this, which is fine. It's their choice, but it's not my choice. For my choice, I want to stand out. I want to create a real piece of art and it's, I'll show you what we can do with this. So example are right here. Look on this. Yes, it's kind of interesting looking custom AI what people offer, but in general, all of these images Will you put it on your wall? This is what you I usually ask. You know, if you create art and you put on wall and you think, yes, I will, then take this image and ask your friends, ask, will they buy it? The most of them will probably say, oh yeah, I'll buy it just because they're friends. But then you ask them, pay me now. See how many of them are actually buying. In my case, when I posted my art on Facebook, actually many people really buying that from there. They just even from Facebook, from my post, that says it's a nice art in this. Why? Because it stand out, because it's look beautiful. It's what you're trying to do. So just like right here, you scroll out, you'll find like Hell Bake It from uh, Me Journey 3.0 versions, you know, with the broken arms and everything. You can easy actually distinguish some of this art. And does people buy it? It's kind of a little bit trick how they can buy this image. They're actually faking in many cases, but not so many. So let's go back to this in look also how we can sell. You have two options you can sell. One you can sell as a print, physical print, then you need to go to Printify or other services, or you can sell as digital downloads. Digital downloads, either way, you need to pre prepare them a little better. Like for example, if you look right here, this is Square's images. It's unprepared. People render them, dump them, and hopefully they will sell. They maybe do, maybe not, but let me show you how you can take step up and prepare a little bit better. So first off, original ideas. And what I'm doing, for example, you can go always and look what people look nice. Look on the prompt, create your own. You can total go original and creating your own. For example, right here, I was playing with these ideas. And I think this is what I'm going to do as example, work with this image. One problem is if you look on this, you can notice it is only 1024 by 1024. But as a print is a little bit too small. So and also it is square. What I prefer to provide the format landscape and portraits is what mostly people use as a picture. Hardly people use it to real square square image. And then we need cropped in properly area. You can use it also like a Dali out painting, whatever. But I noticed Dali, for example, have a problem their detail and resolution is a little bit fuzzy. So it's not up to there. And sometimes colors can mistake. You can achieve good result, but it's a hard and it's additional work. So we just use this original image. Before we process, what we want to do, it's an upscale. And usually I upscale before I process in Photoshop and cropping because it's kind of giving me more details what added. For the upscaling, I'm going to use the gigapixels. You can use any other application. Personally, I do prefer because it's provide the better result for upscaling. And you want to upscale because if image is too small and I start printing, the edges become blurry and quality decreasing dramatically. So you want to bring image at least 5000 pixels um, in a height or width. So this is give you enough resolution. So right here, it's very nice, very easy to do. You can see we have it scale. We're going 6,000, 6%. This is before and now and after you can see how quite a bit nice processing. So it is pop up outside quality and it will stand your image as well for the sharpness from other one images. Um, so I'm going 6,000. You can see 6,000 by 6,000. But remember, it's a square. So if I figure out two by three or other elements, so we can do resizing 
And when we like the resolution, everything is fine and we go standard, we'll go ahead and save it. Okay, at this point, you can go to any of your application. If you like to Affinity Photo, you can use this one or you can use it inside of Photoshop. It's what I'm right now here. So we open this image and you can see this is quite a bit nice resolution already upscale. The so next we need to um, provide two different format. If you're not familiar with format, it's kind of an easier way to do this. All what you need to do, go to File, New, and in new, you'll have all these different formats that are available for you. And you can see right here, it's have it even print. So you can print letter, letter or other. And let's go, for example, I'll select letter in this case. Let's go ahead and click um, create. You also can do this portraits if you need it or this orientation. So we'll go one, for example, portrait. And let's go create file new and we'll go select another one, letter size as a landscape. Next, we'll just take this image and drag and drop. And the reason why I like to do this, so I can see what is scale and size and I can reposition um, instead of cropping inside the image. On this case, you can select and create the better image looking. Notice when we created, we created this letter and it is uh, 300 DPI, so it's perfect for printing. Also, if you need, you can look on a photo type and going over this resolution as well, depending on what people prefer, but this is a little bit small, seven by this. I think the print will give you better resolution like uh, 11 by 17 inch, quite a bit bigger. You also can go and preload it some templates more, but overall this eight by 11 is probably will be a very good step for you as well with 300 DPI. Okay, so you'll notice we upscale and it's already bigger, which is nice. You always want to in decrease in size this will give you sharpness then increase because it give you blurry so let's go ahead and we can scale this down okay if you prefer all image just go ahead and scale adjust if you need it and this time you become artist the one thing what i like to do after this create additional layer which is kind of retouching layer take a brush come closer and if you have it any um things you you can just go ahead and touch them you can kind of fix these elements okay so we'll go a spot healing sample all layers just example you see how i can remove some elements this one is semi-what clear and i like this um style because it's more like kind of artsy style but you can right here you can see how you can in some cases you have it lines, so you can go and clean up them, create a little bit more um, cleaner look. Okay, after you're done touching, uh, you can apply also, and I usually do this because I like the colors, but you always find maybe you want to tweak a little bit. Go create, add additional selective colors. One thing I do recommend for you on a print, if you're going, take this at least minus one in a black. And this has come from old school printing when absolute black you want to avoid because printer sometimes does not produce them properly as well as absolute white. So you want to take them a little bit um, white to a little bit darker or black a little bit like minus one. So what is meaning minus one? You can see we remove make lighter than black. So in this case, we just make minus one, minus two, run there. Okay, next, you can also play around with the colorization on the black if you need it bluish and this way it's allowed you to add personal little bit touch as well play with different colorization versions and also we'll go on the whites and on the whites you can see we can blow up or take them down and i will recommend just take a little bit down like plus one or plus two maybe depend how you click what is happening it does not create absolutely white which is also good for the printing. So you want to avoid this absolute black, absolute white. Okay, right here you create one image. Same, you can do create, take another ones and put it on different format as well. Let's go to scale down. You don't need to scale, but this way, how I said before, you can visibly see how it's positioned. So I can reposition how I want it. For example, I want to add maybe like bluish, maybe around there for print. And now we provide this print. 
you can still provide if you sell as a digital copy you can still provide square for them fully square original size and see maybe somebody like sell but the formatting for the horizontal and vertical it's always very nice because that way you provide full format so in some cases when you sell art and you can see some people let's go look example i don't know if this have it see this is does not provide so obviously they have it only one print but some more professional prints will provide with a different digital resolution so you can upload it okay so we done with the part to prepare prints itself but this is just only one step the another step what we want to do it is creating preview prints like right here you can see how they created so the people can relate it and this is very important because if you try to sell your art you want to provide for the people effect like they look on the picture how it will look in the house and for this one it's have a different type of templates that are available on multiple sites for example this Invanto elements and you can see this templates you can download it they are also available for free on different sizes so it depends where you can look around you can find but also it's I'm using from Invanto and here's example so you open one of the template and you can see it's empty spot all what you need to do this time just open this um, OBJ it's how easy it is again take image like we have before drag drop over okay we maybe want to um scale properly okay and the one thing when you're creating be sure your preview try to match what resolution you're offering so i'm gonna go place here save it and we can go back to original image and you can see now we have this frame available for us so some frames come already with a backdrop some with not and you can see like example here some be on a wall so it's same things you drag and drop there and easy but it's what provide for the people to create to kind of associating how it will look in the house keep in mind you don't want to put it just in any frame you want kind of match style of the picture it's why important the frame is a huge sales point for your picture so that people can again they can place it wherever you create art to their own environment okay and this example you can see complementary and they put in proper actually this is these guys who did this one they done in right places they put the image and by the way yeah, it's definitely square image it's even possibly render inside the ai and we can yep right here ai poster so they, they actually did a very good job um whoever sell the showing different art they select properly style that is will does not jump out as ai art but they do specify it is ai art and i'm sure they probably have it some people who already buy it um type download you notice they sell as pdf it is nice what to do but they do not scale differently like i say personally i will offer different type of format for the people to print because they're not necessarily like square maybe they like the other things so this is about all and rest you're going obviously you're going there you uh, uploaded your images that we created so you will upload your different uh, images you prepare with different resolution as well the preview or sets that you may create it and this is about how I'm doing my process so it does not take too much time when you're optimizing and I hope you find this video useful. Let me know if you have any other suggestions or recommendations. Thank you for watching and have a great time to create your art and sell it.